shocking, guys. Fearless Namdekanu takes another unexpected action against DSSDG. See what he did that surprised everyone. This is getting more tougher. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has initiated a contempt charge against Yusuf Puchi, the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS, for allegedly refusing to obey court orders. The charge was filed by Kanu's lawyer, Aloy Jimako, at the Federal High Court, FHC, in Abuja on Monday, under the title Notice to Show Case why an order of commuter should not be made. This application marked FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 383 slash 2015 was dated and filed on June 10. The new agency of Nigeria NAN reports that the Federal Republic of Nigeria is named as the complainant and first respondent why Yusuf Magaji Puchi is the, the second respondent and alleged comment, comment Kano has accused Puchi of ignoring the orders issued by Justice Binta Inyako of the FHC in Abuja on May 20. These orders include several provisions designed to ensure Kano's right while he is in DSS custody. Specifically, Justice Inyako declined Kano's application to overturn his 2027 Bay re revocation, which was based on allegations that he had joined bail. Furthermore, the judge did not grant Bill's, uh, Kano's request to be transferred to Kuji Correctional Center or to be placed under the house arrest. However, the judge did not modifications to the conditions under which Kano could receive visits from his lawyers at the DSS facility. In our ruling, Justice Enyako adjusted the visitation schedule, increasing the number of days Kano's lawyers could visit from two to three per week. Additionally, she ordered that Kano be provided with a safe and clean room to prepare for his defense allowing him to meet with up to five lawyers instead of the previously permitted three. The judge also mandated that Kano and his, and his legal team be given the necessary facilities to prepare for his defense, including the ability to take notes and have unrestricted access to relevant documents. The application filed by Ijimako includes Specific allegations of non compliance against Puchi. The notice reads in part Take notice that the defendant will, on the day of, so this dash day, okay, take notice that the defendant will, on the dash day of dash 2024, at the hour of 9 o'clock in the forenoon, apply to the court for an order for your commuter to prison for having disobeyed the order of this court made on the 20th day of May 2024, which stated in, in pertinent part as follows, you have not complied with the three days per week visitation to the applicant, as was ordered by the court. You have not provided a safe and clean room to the applicant at the present facility to prepare his defense with a team of counsel. The notice further accused uh, Magaji of failing to allow the facilities required for Kano's defense preparation, claiming that these facilities have been disallowed during every visitation since the court order was issued. It lists specific actions by the DSS, including the uh, inter- Inter, inter, introduction, the seizure, and the uh, photocopying of legal documents related to Kano's trial 
preparation. The notice concludes with a reminder to Magaji of the period form 48, Notice of Consequences of Disobedience to Court, served on May 31, 2024, and state, By not retracing your step after you were on the 31st day of March 2024, served with a Form 48, Notice of Consequences of Disobedience, to court and take further notice that you are hereby required to attend the court on the first mentioned day to showcase why an order for your commuter should not be obeyed. The legal battle between Namdi Kano and the Nigerian government has been ongoing for several years now, marked by numerous court cases and widespread public interest. Kano's arrest, or can I say kidnap, and detention has been particularly contentious with his supporters alleging human rights violations and uh, procedural injustices. The current attempt charge against Magaji highlights the continuing legal and political complicity surrounding Kano's case. Kano's legal team argues that the DSS alleged non compliance with court orders represent a significant breach of judiciary authority and Kano's right. They maintain that the court directives are clear and that Butch's failure to implement them necessitates the content proceedings, the situation underscores the border issues of rule of law and the enforcement of judiciary decisions in Nigeria. At this legal uh, proceedings of food, it will be closely watched by both the national and international observers. The outcome could have significant implications for Kanu's case and the border struggle between Nigerian government and the IPOP. It also releases, raises uh, important questions about accountability of security agencies and the protection of individual rights within Nigerian legal system. So sad. I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.